Bega Qua Bega is the name that we give to this partnership between the St. Paul Area Synod and the Iringa Diocese of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in Tanzania. It's a relationship that goes back almost 30 years, connecting people of faith in the East Metro of the Twin Cities in Minneapolis and St. Paul with uh, people in the Iringa Diocese in the Southern Highlands of Tanzania. Initially, we worked really closely on some large projects, including founding the University of Iringa, formerly called Tumaini University. One of the major things that we do together is scholarship support. And this came from a request from the partners here in Iringa, where they said our investment in our growth in the future, thank you for helping us build chapels, thank you for help giving us some of these things, but we really need investments in our, our youth. Tanzania is an incredibly young country. Two thirds of the population is underneath the age of 30. 43% is underneath the age of 14. Youth are a significant resource in this country and deserve our investment and attention. Folks here in Iringa knew this, and, and people in Minnesota uh, listened and responded as well. Nimetokea katika familia isiyo na uwezo. Endapo basipo pewa msaada huu wa bega kwa bega, ningekuwa sijafika hapa. Maana kwetu kuna watoto wengi sana na wengine ambao wamefanikiwa hawajafanikiwa kufika huko ambako nipo mimi sababu walikosa msaada. Nilikuwa naomba shukrani za pekee kwa kunisaidia mpaka nimefika hapa. Na mpaka naamini nitafikia ndoto zangu. Ninapanga kuja kuwa engineer wa mawasiliano na Mungu anisaidie. Kwa sasa wanafunzi wetu wako jumla 478. Lakini wanafunzi ambao wanafadhiliwa na bega kwa bega wako 128. Ukiangalia hapo unakuta robo ya wanafunzi tumewapata kutoka bega kwa bega. Na wanafunzi hawa wasichana wako 69. Wavulana 59. Kwa hiyo ninafurahi pia wasichana ni wengi kuliko wavulana. Uh, sisi hapa habari ya ufaulu ni mshukuru Mungu sana. Watoto wa bega kwa bega wengi wao wanafanya vizuri. Nikope tu mfano kwa mwaka jana tulikuwa na wanafunzi wa kidato cha sita ambao walikuwa 14. Sasa kati yao 14, wanne walipata daraja la kwanza. Nane walipata daraja la pili. Na wanafunzi wawili tu walipata daraja la tatu. Nao ni zile pointi ambazo zimewaruhusu kwenda chuo kikuu. Kwa maana nyingine ningesema wanafunzi wote hawa 14 wamepata nafasi za kwenda chuo kikuu. Sasa picha hii naomba muichukue kwamba ni picha ya shule zote kwamba watoto wetu wa bega kwa bega wanafanya vizuri. Ni mwitimu wa kidato cha 4 katika shule ya sekondari Tangilo. Nimechukua mchipua sayansi ambapo anategemea katika ficha yangu nije kuwa daktari. Asante kwa kuwa bega kwa bega mimi support toka nikiwa kidato cha pili kupitia ushirika ifunda. Naamini bila bega kwa bega nisingefikia nisi malengo yangu. Asante sana bega kwa bega naomba muendelee kunisupport hata nitakapofikia mwisho. Historia yangu kwa ufupi naishi na mama yani mzazi mmoja baada ya baba kunikana. Kwa hiyo nimeishi na mama kuanzia nikiwa darasa la pili mpaka leo hii. Mama anashughulika na biashara ndogo ndogo, anauza keki. Na hivyo anashindwa kumudu gharama zangu zote za masomo. Hivyo akawa anajitahidi kutoka kwa ndugu na watu wengine na pia naishukuru sana bega kwa bega kwa kutambua uhitaji wangu na nimeweza kufanikiwa na hivyo wao ndio wamechukua hilo jukumu na washukuru sana. Bega kwa bega nanufaika nayo sana kwa sababu imenihakikishia mimi kufikia ndoto zangu kwa sababu hapo awali nilikuwa sina uhakika wa kuhitimu elimu yangu ya chuo kikuu lakini kwa sasa najivunia na ninafurahia kwa sababu nina uhakika kwa asilimia moja kutimiza ndoto zangu. Nitajitahidi kusoma kadri niwezavyo ili niweze kufikia malengo yangu na kuweza kuwasaidia watu wengine kuweza kukutana na fursa kama hizi ili na waweze kufikia ndoto yao. Nitia bega kwa bega nilibahatika kufadhiliwa kutoka kidato cha kwanza mpaka kidato cha sita. Baada ya kumaliza kidato cha sita, nilienda elimu ya, ya juu manake university kuanzia mwaka 2000 na kumi mpaka 2013 nikisomea shahada ya historia 
katika chuo cha Yudo University of Dodoma. Nilipomaliza 2013 nilibahatika kuajiliwa 2014 na shule ya sekondari ya Image ambayo mpaka sasa ni mwalimu na fundisha masomo ya historia kidato cha pili na kidato cha sita. Hivyo kupitia bega kwa bega na washukuru sana kwa kunifadhili mpaka nimefika hapa bila wao kimsingi nisingeweza kufika chuo kikuu na kuwa mfanyakazi au kuwa mwalimu mpaka sasa. Nilifanikiwa kujiunga na chuo mwaka 2016 katika chuo cha uguzi Ilula. Lakini baada ya kuendelea na masomo kuna wakati wazazi wangu walishindwa kulipa ada kwa sababu ya hali ya chini ya uchumi. Na baada ya hapo nikaenda kuomba ufadhili bega kwa bega nikafanikiwa kupata huo ufadhili ambao umenisaidia kumaliza masomo yangu ya chuo kuanzia mwaka 2016 hadi 2018. Mwaka 2019 nikafanikiwa kupata kazi hospitali ya Uyaya ya Kilolo Teule. Na baada ya hapo matunda yangu yamenisaidia kuweza kumsomesha mdogo wangu mwingine ambaye anasoma chuo kikuu Dar es Salaam. Kwa hiyo hayo ni mafanikio ambayo nimeyapata kutokana na kusomeshwa na bega kwa bega. Lakini sio mdogo wangu tu natamani kuwasaidia na watu wengine ndugu zangu na watu wengine wanaojizunguka ili na wenyewe waweze kufikisha ndoto zao. Kitu kingine kutokana na matokeo haya ya kusomeshwa na bega kwa bega imenisaidia kuwa muuguzi ambaye inasaidia watu katika jamii ya Ilula na pia naweza kusaidia jamii ya watu wengine. Ufadhili wa bega kwa bega nilianza kupata mwaka 2007 nikiwa kidato cha kwanza katika shule ya sekondari Image. Ingia kwenye ufadhili wa bega kwa bega baada ya kuwa nimeomba kusoma masomo ya sekondari kutoka uinjilisti. Hivyo nilipoamua kwenda kusoma masomo ya sekondari niliomba ushirika wa Image unifadhili ili niweze kunufaika na ufadhili huo. Kwa kweli kwanza ni shukuru wezetu wa uh, Sinodi ya Mtakatifu Paulo kule Marekani ambao waliweza kuungana na wadau sisi ya Iringa kuweza kutengeneza hiki kitu kinachoitwa bega kwa bega ni na neno moja tu kwamba Mungu awabariki sana kwa moyo huo ambao wameendelea kutusaidia sisi hasa wadau sisi ya Iringa kuona kwamba hata watoto wa watu ambao hawakuweza hawangeweza kuwasaidia watoto wao kusoma masomo ya sekondari leo watoto hao wanasoma kwa hiyo Mungu awabariki sana kwa hayo yote ambayo walitenda kwetu sisi kawaida majina yale huwa tunapokea akiwa ameshapitishwa kwenye kamati za ushirika na nikishapokea huwa na kiki bajeti ambayo nilikuwa nimepokea na kuwashirikisha sharika na baada hapo naangalia kama mahitaji yale yaliyoombewa yanaendana na makisio ya bajeti ambayo tulishawapa sharika. Kwa baada ya kujilidhisha uh, huwa ninapitisha na kuruhusu mratibu wa bega kwa bega kuweza kuyapitisha na hatimaye akapita katika ngazi zingine na mwishowe huwa tunawasilisha ya zile fomu za maombi katika ofisi ya bega kwa bega spas ambao wao ndio wenye jukumu kubwa la kulipa here in the Bega Kobega office in Iringa uh, after we receive payment requests from Frank the scholarship clerk uh, the first step is verification we make sure that all uh, head office signatories have um, seen and signed the payment request once that is confirmed uh, we go online to verify um, the spas side of information that the name is on the database matches the payment amount matches that there is scholarship funds available in the church Uh, partner church's account as well as the pledge for that scholarship has been fulfilled once that is confirmed we can proceed with payment based on the recipient's bank account this is made online or in person uh, with a deposit slip if it's a deposit slip we um, after depositing that money we make sure that Frank has a copy the or the original actually we keep a copy for ourselves in the office so that he can make sure that the recipients um, are able to record that in their files. We also keep the copy here for our files and once that is put together with all request documents, um, we report that information on a dispersal to the financial uh, administrator for SPAs in the US. Um, he is able to upload those transaction items 
to um, the accounts online. Um, after he has done that, we uh, then go back in and make sure that all information has been recorded accurately and in the correct, correct spot. Um, after that, the bulk of the information is complete, and so it's a matter of um, confirming that it's been logged, checking off on it, and putting it in our filing system here for future reference as needed. To date, uh, through these congregation to congregation partnerships, we're sending nearly 1,100 students to secondary school every single year. It's an incredible amount of work, and it's bearing fruit time and time again as these uh, people who were sponsored as students are now finding employment. They're becoming pastors, they're becoming teachers, they're becoming doctors, they're working in the government, they're doing all kinds of things. And it's incredible uh, fruit that this relationship is bearing.